the flu season is starting early and also peaking earlier. Actually, have influenza, you tend to know it. Um, it tends to last longer than the common cold, there's more symptoms. One of the common features is a fever, which may last several days. Certain groups are more susceptible to having severe influenza disease, and they include young children, uh, the elderly, and the otherwise um, immunocompromised, those with suppressed immune systems. And it's really important that we get vaccinated early because it can take up to a month for the vaccine to protect us. The vaccination against the flu uh, protects you for about three to four months. And next year, we might get completely different group of um, flu strains. A flu shot last year will provide very little protection. When you get the influenza vaccine, just like any vaccine, you may get a sore arm or you might feel quite tired that day or the next day. But with the vaccine, it's not possible to get the flu itself because the vaccine doesn't contain any live virus. The COVID vaccine does not protect you against the flu because it's caused by a different virus. So it's really important that you have both the COVID and the flu vaccine. We know that these severe cases are associated with a um, overreaction of the immune system. So you can get a very high fever which can't be controlled with uh, general pain medication. And also you may have problems with breathing. So what we're trying to do is understand why this immune system overreacts and how we could use a drug to potentially dampen that immune response. So the current drugs we have for influenza target the virus itself. However, what we're trying to do is we're trying to design drugs that act on the host's immune system to dampen that hyperinflammatory response and help patients clear the virus without developing life-threatening disease. In order to get those drugs into the clinic um, and to patients that need them, um, it requires a lot of fundamental basic research at the start of their development or repurposing. And so extra funding is critical to uh, fund that research and get that going.